Limitations of Failure Modes and Effects Analysis Although the application of FMEA in the healthcare system is useful, FMEA has only been introduced into this setting relatively recently. FMEA is still in its infancy in healthcare. Minor modification may need to be made to optimize its effectiveness and usefulness. Let's understand the limitations of FMEA with the help of video lecture. Failure modes and effects analysis versus root cause analysis. FMEA is a proactive, whereas RCA is a reactive. In FMEA, flowchart is sequential, whereas in RCA, flowchart is a timeline. FMEA asks, how could the system fail? RCA asks, why did the system fail? FMEA prevent failures before they occur, whereas RCA prevent failures from recurring. Let's understand the difference between FMEA and RCA. The Department of Pathology has used root cause analysis for variety of variances, and through this tool, team has identified system changes that were indicated. It is revealed that why patient samples had been reversed during testing. The root cause analysis team has identified that those particular tests required more manipulations and concentration. Yet, these tests were being performed in a part of the laboratory closest to the hall where technologists were subject to frequent interruptions. Then how can this root cause be solved? Well, the RC team has recommended that by moving the activity to a quieter area, errors could be reduced to a non-occurrence level. I think that's the right solution. But our RC team has also discovered a situation in which a technician was caught late in drawing blood, causing a delay in the administration of a drug. However, the next technician came at his original scheduled time for the drug level test, without knowing that the time had been delayed. But then who going to get in trouble for this? Will it be the first technician who drew blood too late or the second who came too soon? See, the purpose of the investigation and analysis was to look at the entire operation and determine how to improve the system and not to identify who was at the fault. With root cause analysis, the focus is on the what, that is what the event, and the why, that is why the system, and not the who. Hope you understand well. Yes. The root cause analysis process has directed the team to be careful all the time during the testing process. Also, this approach has helped them to make meaningful changes in the department. New protocols were developed related to cleaning and the handling of shafts so that it could reduce such errors. FMEA Template A simple FMEA template can help you document, record and organize your analysis. Once all the failure modes have been assessed, the team should adjust the FMEA to list failures in descending RPN order. This highlights the areas where corrective actions can be focused. If resources are limited, practitioners must set priorities on the biggest problems first. Weak spots of traditional failure mode and effects analysis The major problem in failure mode and effect analysis are, in FMEA, RPN is calculated, which is a complex process, as the severity, occurrence and detection scores are complex to perform. There is a chance of occurrence of a same RPN value for different combinations of severity, occurrence and detection. The success of FMEA lies on the effective retrieval of the tables and other relevant information to prevent further recurrence of failures. FMEA tables do not incorporate titles, which can be filled only through team effort. It does not assure any accuracy in estimating the mode and effect of the failures. Fault tree analysis The fault tree itself is a graphical model of the various parallel and sequential combinations of faults that will result in the occurrence of the predefined undesired event. 
A fall tree starts with an adverse top level event such as patient harm. The causes of this event are enumerated until all causes have been listed. This process is sometimes called a top down process. Let's watch the E lecture to know what is fault tree analysis. Electric shock department finds out what errors or faults could occur at the time of giving electric shock treatment to patient. Hello everyone. Actually our department want to find out and reduce the faults that could occur at the time of giving electric shock treatment to patient. What are your suggestions for this matter? Well, actually this problem can be solved by fault tree analysis which is a tool for evaluating a device from a top down perspective fault tree analysis is an excellent tool to find single fault conditions that is a single failure that may result in hazard oh really that's great so you start working on it fault tree analysis expert analyzes the electric shock process and prepares the fault tree analysis for the same and discuss it with the doctor Hello sir I have prepared the fault tree analysis for the discussed matter to discover the possible faults that could occur Good show me the fault tree analysis Sir please have a look The fault tree provided a framework for thorough qualitative and quantitative evaluation with a systematic analysis of the logic and basic causes leading to the top event fault tree analysis and failure mode and effects analysis fault tree analysis is a top down method aimed at analyzing the effects of initiating faults and events on a complex system whereas failure mode and effects analysis is an inductive bottom up analysis method aimed at analyzing the effects of single component or function failures on equipment or subsystems FDA shows that how resistant a system is to single or multiple initiating faults whereas FMEA is not good at finding all possible initiating faults FDA is not good at examining multiple failures or their effects at a system level FMEA is good at exhaustively cataloging initiating faults and identifying their local effects FDA considers external events whereas fmea does not consider external events let's watch the video lecture which will give you more information about the fault tree analysis and failure mode and effects analysis fault tree analysis and failure mode and effects analysis whenever you find it difficult to decide which technique you should use to analyze a system failure modes and effects analysis or fault tree analysis then here are a few tips to help you decide one fmea is a bottom up technique which examines the failure modes of the components within a system that is the failure symptoms and traces forward the potential effects of each component failure mode on system performance as such it is a cause is equal to or greater than effect model two FTA is the reverse of FMEA in that it is concerned with the identification and analysis of conditions including component failures that lead to the occurrence of a defined effect in contrast with FMEA it is therefore a top down technique and so is an effect is equal to or greater than cause model 3 FMEA will be more appropriate than FTA when you suspect that a large number of distinct system conditions exist with a range of unacceptable consequences four consider using fta rather than fmea when you are particularly concerned about one or just a few system conditions that pose unacceptable consequences these conditions will usually have been identified as the system level effect using fmea or some other hazard identification technique five fta is very good at showing how robust a system will be to one or more initiating faults thus for systems with high levels of redundancy and or diversity 
or for those with majority voting logic, FTA will be more appropriate. 6. FMEA is more suited to analyzing systems that contain little or no redundancy and does not examine the effects of multiple failures at system level apart from common cause failures. 7. Consider using FMEA when the system contains novel technology and the effects of failure of the components contained within the system need to be explored with insightful judgment. For any system, FMEA is generally good for exhaustively identifying and recording the local effects within it that arise from component failures and then inferring the effects of those failures at system level. 8. Consider using FMEA when there is a need a. to establish appropriate levels of redundancy within the design of a system b. to ensure fail-safe outputs c. to increase the derating of components or d. to otherwise enhance the design generally. 9. FDA enables the fault or failure logic within a system of a particular effect of interest to be represented in diagrammatic form, whereas FMEA records the system effects of each failure caused in a tabular format. 10. First order cut sets, which are identified using FTA, that is, conditions or factors which on their own would lead to a defined adverse effect should also be identified as single points of failure using the FMEA technique. Whilst FTA focuses on a defined adverse effect, FMEA implicitly considers all adverse effects that may occur as a result of any single failure. Summary FMEA permits the proactive identification of possible failures in complex processes and provides a basis for continuous improvement. FMEA is meant to be a team process and should be done by a team. FMEA should be performed on the correct parts by the correct team during the correct time frame with the correct procedure. Given that FMEA is still in its infancy in healthcare, minor modifications may need to be made to optimize its effectiveness and usefulness. An FMEA is proactive, but on the other hand, an RCA is reactive. Keywords Risk Priority Number The Risk Priority Number RPN, also referred to as the Criticality Index, is a quantitative measure used to evaluate and assess a failure mode. Root Cause Analysis A Root Cause Analysis RCA is a particularly useful tool with which to commence the analysis of each of the failure points. Fault tree analysis. A fault tree analysis can be simply described as an analytical technique, whereby an undesired state of the system is specified, usually a state that is critical from a safety standpoint, and the system is then analyzed in the context of its environment and operation to head all credible ways in which the undesired event can occur. Further readings, 